Welcome back to another episode, and we're going to dive right in because I have quite a few pickups from the video game Movie Dome. That I, you know, we got DVD, we have Blu ray, we have 4K, a little bit of everything. So let's get right into it. Now, here's a series that I have not watched in a long time. I know it's still going on, but for me, that this first season is just classic. It really is. There was not one bad episode. And especially in particular, one episode that I really, really love from this season. That's probably one of, the, one of the reasons why I picked this one up. And that's South Park Season 1, the Pink Eye episode. The townspeople turn into zombies, Kenny with the Pink Eye. It's fantastic. Absolutely love the first season. And like I said, I watched for a few seasons after, but the first season is just, it's where it's at for me. I really, really enjoy it a lot. Now, DVD, how about first and second season for robot chicken great great show from cartoon network i have not seen one episode that i have not liked from robot chicken and five bucks each five bucks each for the dvds i'm not complaining absolutely love it great deal and i'm looking forward to visiting because it's been a long time since i've seen a lot of these episodes for robot chicken so that's going to be a lot of fun to do that now i mentioned 4k and we have some 4k 10 bucks i was able to pick this one up 20th anniversary starship troopers 4K Ultra HD disc, along with Blu-ray as well. And, yeah, this is one I, you know, I remember bits and pieces of this movie, but I have not seen this in a very long time. Let's go ahead and open this up and see. We have our both our discs right there. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out again. It's been, a like I said, it's been a very, very long time. Starship Troopers on 4K. Now, here is a classic horror, 80s horror, that... You know, I know of the big transformation scene in this film when our lead, you know, changes into a werewolf, but I've never seen this film in its entirety, and that's an American werewolf in London. So I went ahead and I picked this one up on Blu-ray. So, five bucks. I'm not complaining. I did have the Arrow release, but when I had to purge through some of these films months ago, that was one that kind of got mixed into the bundle there, and it wound up going bye-bye on me. So, <laughs> instead of, you know, going after the Arrow release right now for a film that I had not seen, I decided, you know what, for five bucks, I'm going to just pick up the Blu-ray right now, and I'll check out An American Werewolf in London. So, I'm adding that back into the collection. Continuing with 4K, we have Fast 9, the Fast Saga, and I have the 4K, I have the Blu-ray set with all the, you know, the previous Fast and Furious films. But honestly, I've only seen maybe like two or three of those films and maybe bits and pieces of other ones. But for five, for 15 bucks, to pick this up on 4K, this just came out. John Cena replacing The Rock, basically, in this franchise now. I had to go ahead and snag Fast 9. Now, here's a series that I picked up on 4K that, to me, it's it's classic. It, is, it has its fan base, but is a classic series that ended way too soon. One season. One season. But this is just a great, great show. Every episode was fantastic. And I had to get this on Blu-ray. The film that came out after this, you know, to kind of wrap things up a little bit, not exactly the biggest fan of the film, but the series itself is just great. And that is Firefly. Picked it up finally on, on Blu-ray. And I'm glad to have this one in the collection. One of the reasons why I think this ended as soon as it did, you know, through Fox, you know, Fox, I don't think, gave it a lot of time to even, you know, get that kind of fan base going. But the episodes were shown out of order. We had, like, the pilot episode for the show, which should have been the first episode, shown way later on, you know, maybe like three months after the show started. You're not going to make, how, how are you going to get fans to watch your show if you're showing things out of order? It's almost like they just wanted it to fail right out of the gate. And they didn't want to put the money into it, to, you know, to continue this. But it is a great, great, you know, sci-fi, space sci-fi western. That's exactly what Firefly is. And it's absolutely worth it. Let me pick this up. I paid 10 bucks, for, you know, on Blu-ray. But if you can snag this, go ahead. I don't think you'd be disappointed if you've never seen the show. You really need it. You'll understand what all the hype is about when it comes to Firefly. Because it was ahead of its time and it was just fantastic. Every episode was top-notch. Moving right along, how about a musical? Have I ever reviewed a musical on this channel? Well, this was one that was on HBO Max. It was in theaters too, but this was one that I was really, I was surprised that how much I enjoyed it. The music just really, really caught me, and that's In the Heights. Again, 
you know, I haven't really looked at a lot of musicals on this channel, if any, really. But this is just one that I really enjoyed. Something really just it hooked me with this film. And I enjoyed it. It's not a short film either. It's definitely, you know, it definitely has some length to it. But it's just a lot of fun. It really, really is. And the music is fantastic. I mean, you'll really start moving to the music. You'll really start. Those beats catch it and you're just going to be gone. Because it's really, that. it's a good film. It really is. It's definitely worth checking out. Even if you don't want to pick it up to buy it, if you can, you know, rent it cheap enough, definitely go ahead. It's definitely worth checking out. I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you're in the musicals. It's definitely one to keep an eye on. I've heard a lot of talk about this film, but I've never seen it. I know there's a sequel, but I've never even seen either film. And that is Horrible Bosses. But I know, like, Jason Sudeikis is in this, and I've really been into his stuff lately. Uh, check, checking out Ted, uh, Ted Lasso. That show is so good. So good. I absolutely love it. And now, you know, he's in this. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. I have so, you know, and a great cast. It's just not just him, but it's just a great cast all the way around. So I decided to go ahead for five bucks, pick up Horrible Bosses, and I'll check it out. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm looking to dive into that one. Now, anybody who's watched the channel knows, and if you you know don't know by now, you're gonna know come next month because we're gonna talk about Halloween quite a bit because I love the original John Carpenter Halloween. I love it, and I'm gonna revisit the series, you know. Next, all throughout October, I'm definitely going to revisit it. Here's a film, and I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest Rob Zombie fan. I love Rob Zombie's music. I, I'm, a, you know, White Zombie and then his solo stuff. But as far as films go, I'm not the biggest Rob Zombie fan. And I know he can be hit and miss for a lot of people. And with this film, I figured for the price, I had to give it a shot. You know, I, I, I wasn't a big fan when I saw this originally. Because to me, it was like he butchered... Something that I was I'm such a huge fan of. And again, for some people, they love his version of this film. But for me, I love the original. I mean, you got to understand, for me, the original Halloween, along with Dawn of the Dead, you know, I both both those films, and this is maybe some of the why I love those films so much, I know, and they're in, my, they're in my top for all time, is because those films came out one after another a month after I was born. So do the math, figure it out. You can figure out <laughs> how, how old Bill is here. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, those films just hold so much to me because, you know, two classic horrors coming right at, you know, out right after I was born. It's like they always destined to love those films. But without getting too much more sidetracked, I'm talking about Rob Zombie's Halloween. And I picked up on DVD. On DVD, um, on DVD. I was like, you know what? Why not? I, I'm, I'll give it another shot. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot. I think it was like a buck. So for a dollar, I'm, I'll give it another shot. I don't know if, I'm, if my mind's going to change about it. But, you know, why not? Why not go ahead and maybe I'll even, you know, talk about this one come next month. I'll, you know, I'll go back and watch Carpenters, which I love. And, you know, I'll give this one another try. So, and again, if you, if you love Rob Zombie's films, that's fine. It's all about the opinion, you know. Like, it doesn't matter. If you love those films or you hate those films, it doesn't matter absolutely does not for me they're just not this is not this is not carpenter's film this is not john carpenter's halloween which i love so but i'll give another shot and who knows maybe i'll be pleasantly surprised i would love to be pleasantly surprised and maybe this one will actually you know be a film that i like from rob zombie so we'll see we'll see i'll let everybody know when i do check this one out now let's go ahead and talk about disney blu-ray exclusives now these were through you know the disney club but these are brand new factory sealed, and I wanted to pick these up. First, we have The Black Cauldron on Blu-ray. Like I said, I've never seen this film. I know it's, I know it's a lot of people, you know, it's a classic now. But I wanted to pick up. It's an exclusive, and why not? Factory sealed brand new? Can't beat that. The Mighty Ducks. Absolutely love the Mighty Ducks films, and especially the first one. And this is one, again, a Disney Club exclusive, and I had to pick this one up. And finally, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I'm not the biggest fan of the sequels, but the original is just great. Absolutely love the original. And, yeah, why not? Factory Seal. Again, Factory Seal. You can't beat it. You can't beat it, people. You can't. Now, here's a film that I was surprised. I really enjoyed this one. Way more than I thought. I was like, you know, when I, I did a review on this film, and I just, I loved it. 
because I did not, I didn't think in my mind, like, how can they make this film work? How can they do this? This is a character, like, how can you drag a whole film on about the origin of this character, about this villain, classic Disney villain, and that is Cruella. Emma Stone was fantastic, absolutely great in this. Could not, could not be more pleasantly surprised. I mean, she's a great actress, but she really pulled it off, really, really pulled it off in this film. Absolutely pulled it off. And you know what else I like? Check this out. Not only 4K, but it's a 4K disc with a red case. How cool is that? That is great. Let's go ahead and take this out and let's open this up. Let's see what we got here. We have our Ultra HD and we have our Blu-ray. I love that case. That red case just fits this movie so very well. It's just awesome. Love it. When I picked it up, I just, I, I wasn't sure it had the red case, but when I picked it up, I saw it, I was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful case. Now here's one that I wanted to pick up for quite a while, but the film, it's never hit the price that I wanted to get it. It never was at that right price point. And, you know, I, I would have been happy on Blu-ray, but for 10 bucks for the 4K, that I was absolutely, no, no hesitation, I had to get this. And that's Brightburn. I know some people don't like this film, but I think where they were trying to go with this is just fantastic. And you see where they would want to go later on if there was going to be sequels, which I don't think we're ever going to get a sequel. But I just love the idea of just like, a, you know, a bad Superman. And I'm not talking just bad Superman. Like this guy, he's just, this kid, ooh, he is just, he's very uh, vicious with the things that he does. You've seen some of the kills in this film. Yeah, he's doesn't hold any punches. Doesn't pull not, no punches with this kid. He is crazy. Now, we're getting there. We're almost at the end. Now, the extended cut of a Zack Snyder film that I have not seen, and I did not have, and that is Sucker Punch. And I know a lot of people like this one, so I decided for five bucks, I'm picking this one up with the slip. Why not? Let's go ahead and pick up Sucker Punch. Even has, you know, a little uh, interview there behind the scenes with Mr. Snyder right there on the back. So I'm all in for checking out Sucker Punch. Now, you know I love my zombies. And I've seen this one before, and it's not bad. It's absolutely not bad. I think I paid, again, a buck for this on DVD. It's the unrated version of Flight of the Living Dead. If you've seen this, you know it's not a bad film. It's not. I mean, for, for what this is, the premise of zombies on a plane, you know, minus Samuel Jackson, but this is just, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely worth checking out. And again, if you could find it cheap, do that. This is the way, you know, the way to go with this one. But I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It's a pretty decent zombie film. And believe me, there are a lot of stinkers when it comes to zombie films. But this one is actually pretty darn good. It's entertaining. So I think you'll definitely want to check that one out. And finally, finishing off with DVD, I have the complete series of Xena Warrior Princess. Now I just need to get Hercules, complete both of them. But yeah, this is Xena, the Warrior Princess. All the, all the seasons, right here, all six seasons. And honestly, I've probably seen maybe a few episodes here and there. But again, I'm you know I'm into all these classic series now, picking up things. So I was like, Warrior Princess, I gotta pick it up. Why not? Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the, some of the discs here. We have season one. We have season two. Season three. Season 4, and Season 5 and 6 to round it out. So as you can see, I picked up quite a few things from the Movie Dome this weekend. It was uh, quite the trip. And just seeing everything, it's like every time, like I, I say it all the time, every time I go up to see Pam at the Movie Dome, there's just more and more and more. And I always find more things that, you know, I wasn't even looking for, I wound up adding into the pile. So, and I already have another pile started. <laughs> After talking to her today, I already have another pile of movies started for the next time. So, I always find something. It's always great. And I'm, I'm going to make sure I'll leave a, um, this, a link to her uh, videos. Because, again, she does nice little promo videos, advertising. And that's something she'll get, she's going to get you. I'm telling you, because she does it to me all the time. She makes these quick little promo videos showing off, you know, the movie dome. And I always find something in those promo videos that I had, didn't know she had. So I want to, you know, right there, I want to text her, hey, I watched your video, and I found something. And again, she ships out to people as well. So if you can't get there to the movie dome, she'll ship it out to you as well. So I'll leave a link in the description 
for her uh, for her promo, so you can check out too. She's got a lot of great, great items there. So, again, another trip to the movie dome, successful, I would say. And oh, now he's got to find more room for these things. Hey, I'm gonna run out eventually. I'm gonna just have shelves throughout the entire the entire building, the entire house, the entire room. It's gonna be nothing but shelves pretty soon for all these films. So. Like, subscribe, and comment if you get a chance. And I really appreciate everybody check everybody checking out the video. And I will catch you in another one. Take care.